you beautiful people of the internet. How are you guys doing today? Hopefully great. And welcome to Budget Builds Helmet Edition, where we use zero format and achieve maximum efficiency. So in today's video, we're taking a closer look at Berserker Excalibur, aka the Poster Boy 2.0. So before I continue with the video, let's quickly talk about our merch store. So recently, I've opened up a merch store. Guys, we're saying caps, hoodies, t-shirts, and a whole bunch of extra stuff. If you would like to support me or the channel any further, go and buy some merch and tag me on my personal Instagram account at OneManArmyYigit or at OneManArmyYigit underscore merch and we'll definitely do some shoutouts. And before I continue with the video any further, remember to SPOT and kick the subscribe button for more Warframe videos and let's do this. So what I've done is essentially I've replaced Excalibur's Radio Javelin with Valkyr's Warcry. The reason why I've removed Radio Javelin is because I feel that this is the weakest ability in Excalibur's arsenal. I even think Slash Dash is better. Now, Slash Dash offers you actually quite a bit of utility such as you get an increase in mobility and also you have more surviving options such as during the animation for Slash Dash you are granted these invincibility frames. Now these invincibility frames basically negate all forms of damage that are thrown at you whether that is elemental damage, physical damage, or status damage. The point is, during this animation, you'll be able to negate all those forms of damage and get yourself out of any sticky situation. One thing I do want to add is, is that Slash, Slash Dash, is a spammable based ability, so you can take advantage of these invincibility frames at any time. Now, onto Warcry. Warcry, the way it works is, is that when it is costed, you and your allies are given additional armor along with additional attack speed for your melee weapons. However, if the enemies do get affected by Warcry, their armor will be reduced and they'll be slower, just like Nova's Molecular Prime. Now, the reason why Warcry is really good on Excalibur is because, thanks to Exalted Blade. Now, the way that this works is, is that Excalibur summons his signature blade called the Exalted Blade. And what happens is, is that he starts slashing with, you know, he'll start swinging and all these slash comes out of it. Now, thanks to, thanks to Exalted Blade being considered its own melee weapon, Warcry does affect it. So, in other words, thanks to Warcry, you can increase the attack speed of your Exalted Blade itself, resulting in higher DPS and more slash waves that come out of your weapon. Now that we know exactly why I picked Warcry and how it works, let's go over the build. So, here's the build. As you guys can see, I haven't added any former whatsoever. So with that being said, let's go over the mods. So, for our aura, we have Growing Power for more power strength, Intensify and August Secrets for even more power strength. The reason why we want more power strength is because you get an increased damage on every slash that comes out of Exalted Blade, and on top of that, you can do a lot more. You can start swinging your Exalted Blade a lot faster. So, in short terms, more power strength equals more damage output from each slash and also an increase in attack speed. Next, we have flow for bigger energy pool. That way, we don't restrict our energy in any way or form. We also have ourselves a vitality for more survivability. You guys can pick between a vitality or a redirection. I think a redirection would be better because, you know, thanks to shield gating mechanics, so you can get yourself out of any sticky situation. I went with Vitality because it's a, I'm an OG Warframe player and Vitality just makes sense to me. Next we have Streamline for more ability efficiency, that way we don't get caught with our pants down. Next we have Primed Continuity for more duration. Now we want to have more duration for two reasons, one our blinding can last for a lot longer and two it's for our Exalted based ability, it's for Exalted Blade Strain. Now, the way that the drain works on all these exalted based abilities is simple. The more duration you have and the more efficiency you have, it will lower the drain per second on your exalted blade. So in other words, we want streamline and prime continuity. That way we can stay in our exalted blade for as long as possible because the less drain it has, the better. Now, one thing I do want to add before I move on to the next two mods is, is that this is the first time I've ever actually made a build in my Warframe career where we've got two different what was it, two different augments in one singular build. So let's go over them. Excuse me. So 
we've got ourselves chromatic blade and the way that this augment works is it works just like chroma's passive so based off of your energy color will det determine the default elemental damage on your exalted blade so for instance let's say that your energy color is blue that means that you'll have electrical chroma or electrical excalibur that means that your chromatic blade or your exaltic blade has electrical damage as default value if you guys have red as your energy color what's going to happen is your exalted blades default element will be heat if you've got toxin if you've got blue or not toxin if you've got green then it'll be toxin so etc 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 and also when you guys have got this augment and you guys have got a certain amount of power strength i believe it's more than 150 thanks to why we've got growing power basically you'll be giving yourself guaranteed status effects on the enemy dealing additional damage to whatever enemy or faction you're fighting up against so yeah and finally we have an augment called eternal war and basically while war cry is active if you guys kill an enemy with your melee weapon what's going to happen is you'll be given two additional seconds for each melee kill so yes in other words assuming that you guys are continuously killing enemies with your melee weapon what's going to happen is you can never ever run out of war cry throughout the entire mission now for the arcanes department one thing i do want to say is ladies and gentlemen if you guys don't have any of these arcanes it is not the end of the world this build works perfectly fine but if in the case you guys do have arcanes here's what i recommend so arcane strike and arcane energize arcane strike that way we have an increased attack speed and arcane energize that way we can always replenish our energy however if you guys don't have arcane energize here's what i recommend you guys do replace arcane energize with arcane fury now what arcane fury does is essentially if you guys hit an enemy with your slash well, what's going to happen is, is that you'll be given an increase of about 120% additional damage output, making your chromatic blade a lot more stronger. So yeah, anyways, let's move on to the simulacrum, that way I can show you guys exactly how powerful this build really is. And let's not forget about the mods for the exalted blade itself. Now pay attention to the left hand side where you see all these stats. So what we have here is our default elemental attack is electricity. We have pure electricity on our exalted blade and also we have a default status of 84.3%. These two stats are responsible by the chromatic blade augment that we just spoke to you guys about earlier. Now doing so with these default stats placed in mind, let's go over our mod configuration. So for our aura we have exalted blade. Don't worry about this mod, the game automatically gives you this mod just play Excalibur and you know you'll notice that hey I've got this mod next we have primed pressure point for a hundred and fifty percent additional melee damage a regular pressure point will definitely be the same don't worry about having the prime variant next we have condition overload for hundred and twenty percent additional melee damage for every status type that's affecting the target next we have true steel for hundred and twenty percent additional crit Berlin Scourge for 60% Toxin and 60% Status Chance. By adding this mod, what's going to happen is your electricity will be converted into Corrosive. Because remember, Chromatic Blade is based off of whatever energy or whatever color your current energy is. So for instance, if you want Radiation, make sure it's a red energy color and just adds like say uh, electricity to it. So yeah, anyways, here we've got Toxin to give us Corrosive. Next, we've got Fever Strike to give us even more corrosive damage output. Next, we have Berserker for more attack speed. Life Strike, that way we can get our health back on Heavy Attack. Now, what I recommend you guys do when it comes to Life Strike is go into your settings, go into, my, go into the control section and see if you guys can uh, bind your Heavy Attacks to any button that you guys feel comfortable. I recommend if you guys have one of those gaming mice, go and bind that Heavy Attack to you know that mice or that button because live strike let me tell you guys very good utility mod because let me tell you there have been times out there where i wish i'd have this mod on with me and any warframe where you can have this particular mod with you is extremely beneficial next we have organ shatter for an increased critical damage now because we're going to be critting pretty frequently it's actually pretty helpful to have higher critical damage numbers so in other words your crits will be a lot higher so yeah Alright, just like the usual, 
let me actually show you guys how well this build performs or how efficient it is so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get myself some energy and spawn in some heavy gunners then what i'm going to do is i'm going to then go and proc growing power you know more damage output so activate my war cry and then pull out the exalted blade and as you guys can see it just eats through their armor now remember when i was talking to you guys about how you know energy hungry this build is well it's because of how excalibur works because what happens is you always want to blind the enemies and then attack them because by you blinding the enemies you get like a huge damage multiplier because you know the enemies aren't really aware of your presence yeah sure the energy goes down and it's energy hungry but i mean the damage output is definitely worth it so yeah that's why i recommend rather use arcane energize if you have it i do know that arcane energize is pretty expensive so yeah anyways ladies and gentlemen that's all for today's video if the video has helped you or you genuinely liked it remember to leave a like and don't forget to spot click the subscribe button for more warframe videos i'm gonna make like a banana and split